Good day guys, back in the studio again, having a look at a bit of kit. Uh, we've got some solar regulator gear here that I'm going to take outside and test shortly. Now here I've got a bona fide MPPT solar controller and you'll be able to see underneath here there's some pretty big heat sinks. This MPPT solar controller we got from Off-Road Living. It's a bona fide MPPT controller. It's a newer style and we bought this as a movable unit so we can just switch backwards and forwards to different solar systems. The MPPT controllers will in general give you a better bang for your buck. You will get more power from one of these than you will from the old PWM controllers. Now just for fun we decided that we would like to test out these little eBay so-called MPPT controllers. Now for the price I don't think that's going to turn out to be an MPPT controller. I think that's going to turn out to be an older PWM with a sticker put on the front that tells you it's MPPT. But we'll test it, we'll have a look. We've got a little testing gauge here. We'll plug that in. Uh, we'll run it with the same set of panels to the same batteries. We'll run it under load and not under load. And we'll see what readings we get. It'll be quite interesting to see exactly the difference between these two controllers. They're both weatherproof controllers. You'll be able to see that this is a sealed unit. It does have a little LED readout on it which the larger controller does not have and it has a little button for various functions and modes. Looks like it's pretty well weather sealed in there but when you look on the back of it no heat sinks at all. Now there's not even a gap. If that is fixed against a solid plate there's not even a gap in here for heat to escape. There is very minor heat sinking on the side of the unit but in comparison to this one with the really deep heat sinks in here there's some shallow heat sinks on the back here to allow airflow across the back of the unit so mm, you would think that over time something that's got no real decent heat sinks on it is going to burn out we're going to be using this for a while so we'll let you know. It's only going to be running off a couple of small solar panels. I think it's 40 watts in total that this one will be running uh, once it's set up. But for the moment we're going to test both of these with our AllSpark 130 watt solar blanket. Pretty good solar panel. Uh, we've been quite happy with that. We got that also from Off-Road Living. And we'll see what the readings are and the differences between these two units. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in size here. The MPPT here and the uh, badge engineered I suspect MPPT here. So we'll take these out into the backyard, hook it up to a solar system and we'll show you what the readings are just to get some idea of what we're dealing with here. Okay let's head outside. Okay, here we are outside. Some good bright sunlight at the moment. Just going to give these solar regulators a bit of a test. First one we're going to try is the eBay Special. The one that says it's an MPPT. So we've got that hooked up. And we'll just get some readings and see what that's looking like. Reflective screen and all, that's probably not going to show, but the readings on that at the moment. I'm getting readings from 0 amps through to about 5 amps. Okay, so we've got no load on at the moment. What we'll need to do is put some load on the system. That's with no load. And with a full battery, that's pretty much what you'd expect. So currently we have a nicely charged up battery and the regulator is sending in a little bit of power then shutting it off 
I would expect it not to be jumping around quite that much. I'd expect it to s detect the battery voltage and stay low. 0 watts, 51 watts, 16, 60. So that's jumping around all over the place. So next we'll try it with the proper MPPT controller, the one that we know is an MPPT. And that's a lot more of what I would expect from a decent regulator. We're getting very little jumping around. It's detected the state of the battery. It knows it's charged. And we're getting virtually zero amps going in. 0 0.19, 0 0.2. So obviously that other regulator is not detecting the state of charge very well. Okay, so now we'll put some load on the system. Okay, we've now got the eBay so-called MPPT on. And immediately you can see the difference. The number of watts going in. Substantially different. Even at this time of the day, there's about a 25% difference between this controller and the proper MPPT. Now, that obviously leads me to the conclusion that this is not an MPPT controller. It's a PWM. You can see there that the amps going in and the watts are definitely cycling. So really we're not getting what we should out of the regulator. It's popping up, popping down, popping up, popping down. No stable current, even though the panel is directly facing the sun. So really difficult to believe these things are MPPTs. I certainly don't believe it is. Hopefully you can see where the wires go in here. It's actually not sealed up as well as it should be. It pulls away from the sealing material. So that would not be fully weatherproof either. It's certainly sealed on the top and the sides. So at lo as long as you do mount it in an upright position, I guess there wouldn't be too much gets in there, but damp and all the rest of it, I would imagine that eventually it would get to that and cause trouble. You can see they're cycling three to four, three to four, three to four. The voltage thirteen point three nine three eight and the watts all over the place. Okay, we're back on the MPPT again. It's just settling down and you can see now that's a few seconds after the other one. You can see once it settles down and detects the voltage and the state of charge it becomes very steady. And where the other one was cycling 343434 this is nice and steady 5.38, 5.37 So obviously a much, much better quality and a proper MPPT. That's exactly the result I would have expected considering the difference in price between these two units. So no doubt at all in my mind that, that the eBay MPPT is a badge engineered fake I suspect it won't have a long life because of the lack of heat sinks and the ability of moisture to get inside where the wires go through. But we're going to give it a good test and see how it goes. And we'll let you know in a later video, once we've been using it for quite some time, and see if it really is value for money. But right up front, if you want the maximum number of amps 
going in from your solar panel then an MPPT controller is obviously the way to go they are a little bit more expensive but the price of them has really come down recently and for under $100 you can get yourself a really good regulator.